Hey, greetings, thrill seekers. Here's another low key video for you. Uh, today, uh, I made a video earlier about this old German clock right here. It's uh, uh, Jurgos uh, Movement. I got it from a friend, I think, last week. The clock runs. Let's see, it's, yeah, it's uh, 8 after 4. It's, it keeps good time. I wound it. I've been winding it. Uh, little did I know the, uh, the movement of the clock winds on the center right here. This spring is broke right here. The chimes don't work. So uh, what we're going to do today is I've ordered a, a movement from eBay. eBay. It's a used movement that should fix this clock. And uh, today we're going to unbox this movement, take a look at it, and uh, eventually we'll get her installed in that clock and see if we can make a nice clock out of this. So right now we're just going to unbox this to see what we got. This is a, uh, uh, let's see, a UW6-37A movement, and that's exactly what's in that clock right there. So let's unbox this and see what we got here. Got to get the old trusty knife out. Got that for Christmas for my granddaughter. It's been a pretty good one. You know, people in the UK can't even carry pocket knives, I hear. Man, I bet you there's people starving to death. They can't even get into a bag of peanuts, you know, without a pocket knife. I don't know what they do. Well, anyway, let's open her up. See if we can't open this up without cutting our hands off. Kind of, kind of excited or interested in seeing what this is going to be like. You know, when they sell things on eBay, the guy advertises that uh, the clock movement does not work. I would do the same thing. That way, there's no guarantees or anything, and I don't expect a guarantee to be on a used clock movement. Got the old trusty garbage can right here. I bought a few things from this guy, and I've always been satisfied. Bought a clock movement uh, for an Ingram clock. It was marked 1879, and uh, it's been running ever since I installed it in my clock case. So we'll see what we got here. Oh man, this thing—it's a boat anchor. Let's just sit it to the side here. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I don't know. We've got a lot of newspapers. I wonder where this newspaper's from. Let's check her out. I'm from Indiana. And let's see where this is from. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in English. Oh, here we go. New Haven. That must be New Haven, Connecticut. All right. This is how they sell newspapers, huh? Okay. Now let's just throw this to the side. Got the old bubble wrap going here. So far, she looks pretty nice. Did a nice job of packaging this. Well, let's not rip and tear. Let's get our pocket knife back out. I stood right here and lost my pocket knife, you know? That's what happens when you get old. Holy moly guacamole. Now, see, that's exactly how slapstick comedy was born right there. I could stand here 20 minutes looking for that pocket knife. It's probably here somewhere, but... Uh, Ooh, looking good. Baby's looking good. Nice. Look at that. Thing is running right now as we speak. Get that out and it's running. Now, let's just see something real quick here. That's tight. That's tight. Let's see. It's this one. Man, that baby is tight. They're wound, wound up tight. It's running. Let's look on the back. Yeah, six, UW 6 37. And this was, this came from a Howard Miller clock right here. These will have to be taken off and turned around backwards right here. That seems to be working okay. Okay. 
All right, let's set this aside. See it. what else we got here. Don't lose that key. It'll end up where the pocket knife went. I'm getting kind of excited about this. I want this clock to work. And uh, these are the chimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that one's got nine chimes. That all matches up. I probably won't put this in the clock since there's already one in there, but uh, I'll set it to the side and uh, I'm sure I'll find a use for that somewhere along the line. Set it here on the old radio. Well, I think I'm going to get to work on this clock and see if I can't get this thing to work in here. It looks like, uh, looks like the movement's in pretty good shape. Uh, it's a German movement. And uh, the reason why I ordered this movement to fix this clock is, uh, hey, I'm not really a uh, clock repairman. I just tinker around. But this has uh, springs in it that are in barrels. And this spring is broke, and I would have to take the whole clock apart to repair the barrel. And what I'm going to do is, once I get this clock working, I'm going to take this movement apart and attempt to uh, replace the spring or fix the spring in that barrel. And if, I, if I'm unsuccessful, so be it. You know, I got garbage service. It goes out once a week on Monday morning. So, But uh, we're going to get this uh, clock up and running and see what happens. Also. You notice the guitar sitting here next to me. This is an old Art and Luthery guitar. Eh, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe, maybe 10 years old or so. I don't know exactly what year it is. I did it one time, but it's an oldie. And uh, I, was, I picked it up to play it the other day, and I noticed the bridge had popped off. Hey, let me turn the camera. We'll get to this too. What the heck? Might as well kill two, two birds with one stone on this video right here. All right. Get a little light on the subject. Like that there. Okay, yeah, this guitar sitting here on the old workbench uh, is an old Art and Luthery guitar. It's a 12 string. Got the strings loose on it. It's got pretty new strings, so I didn't want to destroy the strings. Well, I picked it up uh, yesterday, and... Uh, I noticed the strings were sitting a little high on it, and I had already uh, set, uh, sanded the bridge saddle down and everything, and you don't want to really sand, sand your bridge saddle down too much, because if the strings are straight, uh, the lower the bridge saddle, the less tension you got on your strings or on the bridge saddle, and it, it changes the sound on the guitar, so we don't want to go any lower, so I started looking into it. I took my feeler gauge and I was able to take my feeler gauge and stick it right up under the rear of the bridge here. So the bridge is starting to pop, pop up like that. Also, might have a little belly bulge here, I'm not real sure. But anyway, I got some glue up under the bridge there with my feeler gauge and uh, kind of pried that up, got the glue in there, put the old clamp of ruse on there, and uh, I'll let that sit for a while. Uh, it's kind of concave right now. And also during this process, I uh, took and um, kind of humidifying the guitar. Uh, I've got a wick down in there. I've got a little plastic container with water in it. And then I've got a paper, uh, made a wick out of a paper towel that's saturated. And we cover the sound hole like this here. It's been sitting there since yesterday afternoon. I'm going to leave it sit there for a while. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put the strings back on. I got another saddle I'm going to use for this one here. It's just a little nicer saddle. I'll stick that in there. And this is going to be glued down flat. And we'll string it up and see how that goes. So, all right, take care. Talk to you later. Oh, by the way, I found my knife. It was laying right here under all this stuff. Thought I'd share that with you. Also, I hope you're drinking a cup of coffee with this. You gotta have some coffee with these projects, I'm telling you. Alright, got the clock upside down here. Let's not turn the camera sideways, that'd be kind of crazy. And, uh, we're gonna take the back off of it. I got the screws out. Look at that. Tasty. All right, enough of that. I'm gonna pull the back off of here. 
got screws out. Um, as you notice this back, there's a lot of homemade looking things on this clock. Uh, some, uh, I was told this clock was made by somebody. He did a nice job. The cabinet is really nice. The back, um, yeah, he, uh, you could tell somebody had made this at home and he would, must have been a cabinet maker because he did a nice job on it. But uh, anyway, here's the movement in the clock right here. Hope I can got that focused. And uh, you, as you can see, it's the same movement. It's laying down so the the uh, wheel stopped turning. But uh, and that was an, kind of another problem. This this might have some wear and tear on it because uh, when you wound the clock, you had to start that. When I took that movement out of the package, it was running. I mean, it, as soon as it uh, got free of that uh, bubble wrap, it started running. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this baby is gonna it's gonna sing. Uh, kind of, kind of excited to see how this is all going to turn out. All right, talk to you later. Hey, back again. Well, I got the new movement in this clock. It appears to be running. Here's the old movement on on the table here. Look at the roots on that thing. This is the uh, the chime that came with the other the movement I got the used movement. I was just kind of uh, making sure it was the same. It's got the same number and everything on there. A couple of problems I did have was the screw that holds the hands on. I had to do some loving on that to make it work. Uh, the, it was kind of, the, the threads were kind of wore out so I just kind of pressed it a little bit with the uh, with the vice grips and uh, pressed it together a little bit and it uh, seemed to work okay. Chimes were real nice on this. They got uh, Actually, a scale. Let me let me let me do some work here. Let me play some music. See if I can make this thing work. Ah, geez, right right when right when I want it to work, it doesn't want to work. I think it's about ready to chime. That's what what's going on here. Let's just wait and see what happens. Nothing happens. Yeah, we we might wait for a while. Only got five more minutes on the video. I don't know if I can wait that long. Well, anyway, let me just kind of go up the scale a little bit here. Yeah, one thing I had to do is when I got in, in here, I had to adjust these these hammers here to make sure they hit the on here, but. Uh, Looks like it's going to work. Uh, i got to find a place in the house for this somewhere because it is a pretty clock. It sounds nice. And uh, give it a week or so and see how she runs. Uh, at least this one had uh, the good springs in it. This one here, uh, it's got these barrel springs in it. The clock runs, I mean, as far as that goes. But the chimes, the, the spring that ran the chimes did not, did not work. So... Okay, be talking with you later. Hey, I hope you got a cup of coffee to what with this video here. Okay, got the old clock up and running. It's chiming. It's keeping time. Uh, I kind of wanted to see. Uh, let me see if I can't move the hands to get the chime to work. Unless it's already chimed and I didn't hear it. It kind of chimes a minute or two early, so it may have already chimed. Maybe I'll try to catch it on the hour. But, uh, yeah. There she is. Trying to get along If every 
Everybody else tries to go their way You're bound to get tripped What can you say? Just go along till they turn out the lights There's nothing we can do to fight it No man's got it made Till he's far beyond the pain Once knew a man, very talented guy He sang for the people and people would cry That his song came from deep down inside You could hear it in his voice, see it in his eyes So he traveled along, touched your heart And then be gone just like a flower Just the same